What's up guys, Jamar Dawson, Remnant Outdoors. Hope you're doing good today. So if you're like me, you have a mindset that's dedicated towards security, whether it's home security, church security, whatever. As I was expanding my family, my wife and I found out we were pregnant with twins last year. I said, we gotta get some home security solutions implemented pronto. So I looked at some of the big players, I looked at Ring, I looked at Nest, I looked at some of these other ones, and I realized, okay, well, you know, $200 or $300 or whatever they may be, and it looks like they're pretty solid names in the industry. Uh, but then I found out there was things like subscriptions, and then I found out that there was some security breaches and some security concerns that you couldn't uh, disable, and, and some other things out there that really made me uncomfortable. So I started looking for other solutions, and I was led to Wise Cam. This is made by a company called Wise Labs, and then shortly after I found out about the Wise Cam, found out that they had introduced something called the Wise Pan Cam. So we're gonna talk about those today. I believe that if you're looking for some simple, reliable, customer-centric home security, this is the company to look for, these are the products to look for. Let's go ahead and dig into these cameras now. The Wise Cam and the Wise Pan Cam are extremely affordable cameras. At about $25 and $37 respectively, this is almost like, I don't know, a seventh or a tenth of the cost of some of the big name brand cameras. In terms of quality, you would think that when you're going from a big $300 big name brand high security camera uh, from these reputable places down to a $25 camera, you think you would lose some quality. Well, that's not necessarily the case with these two cameras. You get a chance to see your footage uh, in real time, live streaming in either 1080p, you could drop it down to standard definition, you could even drop it down even further, mostly based on your internet connection. The build quality on these things are really good too. Uh, I haven't really put this through a year's worth of its paces, but these, I've had uh, a couple of these for about a year, uh, just about a year's worth of time, and uh, haven't had any issues. The cool thing is, when there are some hiccups, they put out a firmware update really quickly. But in terms of quality, uh, build quality, picture quality, uh, it's, it's more than satisfactory. Setup is relatively easy with these Wise Cams. Simply plug in the camera into the wall outlet, wait for the yellow flashing light, press the setup button for about three seconds until you hear the voice prompt, open up the Wise app on your smartphone, and click the ellipsis or the three dots to add a product, select the WISE device you'd like to connect, enter in your Wi-Fi network and password, and finally, scan the QR code on your phone screen by placing it directly in front of the WISE cam. Each cam comes with the easy to read instructions for you to follow, but there's plenty of how-to videos on the internet if you get stuck. Speaking of that, let's talk about that for a second. The user experience with this is really great. The interface is easy to read, navigation is simple, and switching between your devices is really straightforward. Clicking on your devices, which can be named to whatever you'd like, opens up the camera's live feed. From here, you can turn on the speaker function, communicate with the voice feature, manually record video, take photos, adjust the night vision feature, and modify detection and alarm settings. Keep in mind, the app gives you the most control over your devices as you can only view the video feed from Amazon and Google devices. You guys might have seen our video on the Dawson Adventures channel where we have our Amazon Fire TV and it's an Alexa enabled device and we say, hey Alexa, show Cam 1 or whatever and it pulls it up. Uh, but I can't do really any modification, I can just view the live feed. These little cameras are packed with features. One of the cool features is this night vision mode. You could turn that on manually or you could just have it on automatically. You could even just turn it off to where it does never come on if you don't want it to come on. If you are using this as a security camera, you need this ability because if you're lying in bed or you're just not at your house, uh, you know, at nighttime, odds are it's gonna be dark in your residence unless you just have lights on where the cameras are. And having that night vision capability allows you to see relatively clearly what's going on if there's movement detection if a shady character is, is trying to invade your space so to speak so huge value huge pro for me so the detection settings on these cameras is not what you would expect for the price I actually was anticipating something much lesser in quality than what we got but I've been pleasantly surprised for the last year of ownership with these wise cams 
There's two standard components for the detection feature. That is motion tagging and sound detection. Both of those you could adjust the sensitivity for very easily and save your settings and you'll be on your way. When motion or sound, depending on what you have turned on, is detected by the camera, it sends an alert to your smart device. The pan cam has some really unique features, some of which my wife really hates because it spooked her a few times. The first is called the motion tracking feature, so it actually tracks the subject as it walks around the room. It will pan and, and tilt as it follows that subject, as you can see here in the example. Another really cool guard dog-like feature is the scan. They call it the pan scan, so every 10 seconds or so it goes into the zones. There's default setting and you could also set up uh, zones if you don't like the default ones uh, and it'll pick up alert. It will alert you if it sees motion in that zone as it's doing this little guard dog scan. Uh, another cool feature that it has is alarm detection settings uh, for external alarms. So for the carbon monoxide, the smoke detectors, it picks up the frequency and lets you know. So if you just don't hear it, or if you're not at home, for example, you won't have a home security system that's hooked up and sensing to your uh, smoke detectors and things like that, it'll pick up that frequency and it will send you an alert to your phone. I think that's really, really neat. Another cool feature, and this is one of the big driving factors on why I bought the Wise Labs cameras, is that it has free cloud storage of events. So let's just say the postman comes up or the Amazon man comes up or uh, a bird flies up in front of your camera and it's detected and it sends you an alert. It has 14 days, if I'm not uh, mistaken, about 14 days, two weeks worth of cloud storage for free. And here's the thing, there's no subscription for all this stuff. If you want to extend that out even further, guess what? You can enter in your SD card, put your SD card either into the Wise Pan Cam or into the Wise Cam slot right there, I don't know how easy it is to see my video. And man, you could have uh, up to the capacity storage of what is on that SD card. Super awesome feature and it's free to me. That's like music to my ears, literally. Next, the video stream in near real time. So it's not gonna be exact. There's been times when uh, the alerts have started recording a few moments after true motion started. Sometimes it's like, a second after sometimes it's maybe five seconds up to five seconds after a motion is actually detected that it starts recording but when you're streaming it streams in close to near real time which really allows you to see what's going on in your home or your place of business the next thing is there's an abundance of accessories and these are mostly third party matter of fact they're like 99 percent third party you just go to amazon type in wise and you could find little holders, little stands, little things for the indoor and outdoor usage. I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of accessories out there. Next, customer feedback is valued and basically expected. They do a really good job of communicating with the community and the community says, hey, how about this, how about this? And sometimes wives will say, look, people have been asking about these three things. What do you guys say, vote on it? And that's the feature we're gonna pursue. Or that's the product we're gonna pursue. Really active community, just go online, check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. Next, it makes a great baby camera. Me and my wife have elected to use the Wise Pan Cam as our baby camera instead of going out and buying one of these $300 baby monitor cameras. Uh, and this allows us to add it to the list of devices we have, open up the Wise Cam app, and boom, I can see all those things. I can see the babies, I can go and pan and turn and look and make sure they're okay and even have a little sound. If they are uh, crying or something, then I can I could hear that and I could see what's really wrong before me and my wife run in and check on the babies. Really, really useful. And as I hinted at before, it works with Google Assistant, works with Alexa, allows you to say, hey Alexa, show Cam 5, show Cam 2, show Backyard Cam, show Garage Cam, and then boom, it pops up a few seconds later. Huge plus. Another pro is the extremely small profile of these devices. You can stick them almost anywhere and they're really concealable. You can buy third party accessories and housings that really make it not very distinguishable that it's a camera in there. Obviously, there are going to be some cons with anything, any product that's out there. 
is not a whole lot though. First of all, there's individual person detection that's kind of big on the market now by some of the big players in the market. Uh, that is something that they had outsourced, but they have kind of put that on hold. They ended their contract with the outsourcing company and they're gonna do it all in house. So as of this video, it is not ready yet. I know that's something that some people desire for security. Uh, but they are working on that. Hopefully, maybe by the end of 2020, that should be ready. Next, there is no OEM outdoor options available as of the release of this video. You have to buy some third-party outdoor housings and stands, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, don't take your, your wise cam or your pan cam and throw it outside. If, if there's any rain, it's probably going to destroy it. Please put it in a third-party housing. Uh, they're very cheap, inexpensive, very easy to find. So this really isn't that bad of a con. Another con is that these devices require a power cable. There's not a battery powered option at this time. So you have to get a little creative with where you hide the cord if you don't want it to look ugly around your house. Lastly, the microphone input is not the greatest. I was having a conversation while I was at work the other day with my wife, she was in the baby room. And um, I used the push to talk feature and it was hard for her to hear me. The longer the conversation went on, the harder it was for her to hear me. There was a little bit of a delay. Uh, I had to kind of take my hand off the push to talk feature and then re-engage it and she could hear me better. Um, but I mean, you know, this isn't primarily a microphone, it's primarily a camera. With these versions of the devices, the microphones are not the greatest, but it gets the job done for what you need. Okay, you sound pretty good, can you hear me? There's a little bit of a delay, but it sounds good. In closing, I recommend the Wise Labs cameras to just about anybody for almost any situation, especially when it comes to home security. They're a company that's constantly improving, they listen to customer input, and they're adding to their home security products all the time. The cameras are extremely affordable and do virtually everything that the major players in the industry do without the added subscription and initiation costs. With their rise in popularity, I really wouldn't be surprised if the price increases in the future. So check the link in the description. Make sure you pick up at least one of these things today if you don't have one. Yes, there are other budget cameras on the market, but from what I've seen, they don't measure up to the quality and customer support coming from Wise Labs. Overall, we give the Wise Cam and the Wise Pan Cam an A for low price, high value. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna have some more content coming your way in the near future. If you have any comments, any questions about these, let us know down in the comments. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you really want to be up to date on what we're dropping in the near future. God bless. Stay safe. Take it easy. Baby love, when you're in my head, I can't think. When you're in